Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the beautiful world of Grounded. Today, I intend to make the most advanced strides possible to upgrade myself into absolute godhood. One of those strides being, I need to get that milk molar, which is where just a little bit of construction comes in. Can I zip line with these? Nope. No. Oh, this is gonna be a process. But anything for upgrades, oh, yeah. even if it means chopping three trillion blades of grass. Yeah. This is probably gonna take me a bit. It's a good thing I've kind of perfected my building process, or at least stair building process. Cause after 10 hours, you kind of learn how to get it to a science. Is this high enough? I feel like this is good. Now to just place a very unstable structure a whole bunch. Nothing will go wrong. I believe this is the last little bit I need. And ta-da. Basically one whole in-game day later, but now I can bring stuff up here. We'll just get that set for something later. Cause for right now, I'm gonna need a lot of grass. Did you know you can relocate entire pallets of grass? Now the big question is, can I place this pallet on these rocks? No, unsupported, too steep, yes! The second big question is, can I get this over there without an antlion spawning in? No. Doesn't look like it. Stupid antlion taking forever to kill. Give me all your stuff and all my arrows back. Now if you'll excuse me, back to trying to traverse grass through this sandy dune. Can I, gosh dang it, I'm so close. Nope. Ah, fine. Time to beat you into submission then. Yeah, confused, aren't you? Just don't attack me next time, buddy. Oh, that ranked up my barbarian to level three though. <laughs> Hey, maybe that was worth it. Finally, we're here. Now time to make the world's tiniest grass bridge. <laughs> if it works, it works. No, wait, how are you out of the hole? This guy's supposed to be in that hole down there. How did you get out? None of this makes sense. You should not be here right now. Oh, and you brought a buddy too because you knew I was about to kick your teeth in? Completely fair, I get it. Can I just, no, stop. You're taking all my stamina and making me slow. All right, well, you're dead. And then you just disappeared underground. And now time to disappear into the ground permanently. Stupid freaking jerk. Die. Welcome home, me. I knew I always belonged in a castle. Of course, these guys are here. Just give it up. You never kill me. Oh my gosh. Okay, maybe if there's two of you, you definitely have a much higher chance. Well, never mind. There's only one of you now. Okay, there's zero of you, like I was saying. Is there not a way to get up on top of the castle? Looks like we might be making a few more trips. Later that same evening. So it's been about an hour and a half of this, but through the most unsound structure I've ever seen, I think I can finally, yes! Oh, all of that for one milk molar. It was not worth it, not even remotely. <laughs> now time for me to rush home, cause it's nighttime and that is spooky. Of course you have to be right here. I should really put my other shield back on now that I think about it. Wait, put Barbarian back on too. Come here, you stupid jerk. There, yeah, now you're dazed. Hit, hit, and big hit, and block again. No, I missed. Whatever. Here, have this. Stupid spider. You know what? I think it's time we settle this. First things first, I need to sleep. And then let's start upgrading this other crossbow. And I immediately need more quartzite. That did not last long. <laughs> and now to just make a quick trip to my little stone mine. I need as many of these rocks as I can get. And I don't care how many of you I have to kill to get them. Hang on. Has there just been a mega milk molar right here this entire time and I had no idea? Or would you look at that? Can I open this and get out of here? Thank you. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's gonna take forever to kill five of you guys. Good thing I can immediately crack these rocks thanks to my mutation. I just run in circles, eventually I'll collect everything and I can run out of here. Perfect, get going. And you know what, since I'm over here, might as well make a quick trip over to Burgle. Seems I'm just running around the entire map today. Knock knock, my robotic buddy. I think it's time we increase my resource size. Now, as much as I'd like to go home, it's not quite time. Threat detected. All right, go back inside. Are we okay? He's not anywhere around. Go, 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 go. When can I get enough raw science to make a tiny RC car, huh? So I got to thinking, if I really want to hurt the spiders, I'm going to have to take away something that they love. But the issue with things is that they can always be replaced. You see, if I wanted to hurt the spiders, it's not something I need to take from them, but someone. And now that I've grabbed that, I'd say I'm good to go home for a second. Good old home sweet home. Now let's go ahead and make you level five. And then the rest, you get turned into quartzite globs. Oh yeah, and when those are done, make me this BLT, please. And now for a good night's rest. What a beautiful morning to murder something. Everything done, beautiful. Wait a second, can I recon scan this thing? Man, I want more science points. I'm only level 10 and there's still three levels left. What is this thing? I don't know. Speaking of killing things, I want to test the crossbow. Sorry, Sleeping Bee, you're the only target I got. Go ahead. Oh my gosh, almost half? 
This is a very long reload time. Oh my god. All right. Nope, crossbow's good. I get it. I get why you guys wanted me to make it. And since I'm going to go fight a spider, let me go ahead and make some feather arrows. And then, of course, make them spicy arrows. This will come in handy in a second. Let me also make one of these liquid rages, as well as this fuzz on the rocks. I pretty much never make smoothies, but today felt like a good day for it. Hey, B, high five. Don't mind me. Yep, threat detected. Oh no, whatever will I do? That. That's what I'll do. Now off to the hedge I go. Hey, buddy. I could use a little warm up. What am I sucking a weird orb? Get this off me. Stop. Go ahead and block. All right. Smack and smack. How much health do you end up having? Really not that much. Plus you can get stunned. Oh yeah. This is gonna go over great. Now I think what I want is around here somewhere. Maybe I need to get up on the trees. If only there was an easy way to do it. You know, something tells me this thing might be what I need. Ooh, free raw science too. How lovely. No use waiting, time to just rush in. Are these, what? Oh, they're dead ants. Look at this entire air, oh my god, there's every bug in here. Huh, so this is what I need. Yep, let me drink my potions first. One beefy liquid rage, and one beefy fuzz on the rocks. Now I have boosted attack and boosted health. All right, let the games begin. You just horrifying creature. Immediately shoot a spicy arrow. Oh my god, this does a bar of your health? This thing is crazy. Is that all because of my attack boost, even? Also, I really bet you wish that I'd fight you with something like this salt mace, wouldn't you? How about something like this instead? Oh, I cut the Coltana, you stupid brood mother. I don't even- wait, what- oh, okay, ow. What was that? I don't really care whatever it was, just have this. Go ahead, do something. What are you doing? Oh my god, when did these little tiny baby spiders get here? These things are gross. Die. Die die. I just gotta actually go into third person mode. It makes it so much easier to see whenever she's doing stuff like that. Hi, Orb Weaver. Bye, Orb Weaver. Die. My health is doing okay, and I picked the worst time to possibly shoot one of those. This is fine. Everything's fine. Quick drink of a smoothie and another one to just- Oh, big hits. All right, I can do that too, stupid broodmother. Come here. Blocked. Yeah, perfect blocks are kind of difficult to get past, aren't they? God, can you get your kids out of here? Fine, I'll kill them in front of you. How's that feel? Isn't that a big jump move? Yes. Oh, okay, that was a good hit. That was a good move. I'll give you that one, stupid broodmother. God, your kids are annoying. Oh no, I didn't mean to throw my crossbow. <laughs> I just wanted to kill the stupid tiny spiderlings. The issue is I just don't get stamina back fast enough. Have this. Yes. Where are you going? What did that do? You just jumped away? All right, you know what? I don't even care. Back to fighting. The cold Tana is the just best weapon for you out there right now. And you summon more kids. Gosh dang it. How many times do I have to kill them in front of your face, huh? Before you finally get the memo. Better yet, back to first person. Dead. Oh, what? They don't kill them in one hit? Am I using spicy arrows? Did that one miss? Hang on. Spicy arrow of the broodmother? Yes, good hit. Stop. Stop. Have a cold Tana to the face because you deserve it. Am I- can I hop on her back? Hang on, I think I figured out the tactic. If I can ride the brood mother. <laughs> Let me quickly drink yet another smoothie. And I'm punching her kids. That's not what I meant to do. Wait, where's my Coltana? There we go. Die, you stupid Orb Weaver Juniors. Oh my gosh, did I perfect block all those? I think I might be a little too good at this game. Oh wait, are you dead? Final hit, 360, yes! Oh, die! You overgrown spider! Quit messing with me! You've just ruined me forever! Mom jeans? What the heck is this? Your vocal cords stretch to form spiderling summoning motherly cries? Is that even humanly possible? I don't want to think about it. Give me all my arrows. These things are expensive. And then give me whatever you drop. Oh, a lot of stuff. All right. I really feel like I could beat two of her at the exact same time, if we're being honest. I'm not going to attempt it. I just feel like I could. Hi, kids. Just killed your mom. Hope you enjoy. I'm gonna go back to my sweet comforting bed and have a nice dream about how I stabbed this sword through all eight of her eyes. Or did she have like 52 eyes? I don't know. I've already forgotten her face. Really? You must not have heard the news, buddy. Sorry. Oh my gosh, I can three hit orb weavers with this thing? Man, talk about a good weapon. Hey wolf spider, just killed your mom. Must suck, huh? And you got perfect blocked and you died in two hits. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is a spider killer. Ah, uh, this feels just like coming home after a nice hard days of work. The winners are simply the ones who wake up the next day in this world. All right, game, what can I make out of her parts? Five broodmother chunks, mask of the mother demon, and the trophy. And how about the fangs? Survey says, club of the mother demon. Oh, new weapon, new tier three weapon. How exactly do I make it? Oh, just by hitting spacebar. How much is this? Oh my, look at how much stamina it uses. I can get four good hits before I just have to take a breather. All right, I want to test out the damage on this thing. B, can you help me with this, please? 
Got about two and a half bars, and I hit you, you have a decent chunk of bars. You know, now that I think about it, B's definitely not the best test for this. Something like a black ox beetle would be a much better test. Hi, buddy. Are you gonna charge at me? Good try. All right, see the damage? Okay, that's like, what is that, a fourth of your health bar? Oh my gosh, this thing isn't even upgraded yet. How about you, Ladybird Larva, since you wanted to include yourself so badly? Why do you have so much health? You know, I never liked that about you. Die. So after three combos, he's on two bars of health, and then all it takes is one more. That is insane. This weapon is gross, and I will be doing one thing immediately. Oh well, I guess it's technically two things. Upgrading the club to be even stronger, and then getting rid of what I don't need. Sorry. 